Hi guys, Quinn Damarell here, the developer of Baconet for Windows Phone. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick some uh, features of 2.1. I didn't do all these videos for 2.0 and I probably should because there's a lot more features, but 2.1 is mainly just a bug fix. Um, bug fix release, some UI tweaks, performance tweaks. Um, so one of the cool things I just added was someone in our um, in the subreddit just suggested that when you open one of these uh, posts the self text is kinda little in this box up here and then you can double tap to expand it but that's even kinda you know not super great so uh, a new feature in 2.1 is that if you click in this box and drag down to the bottom it'll expand out into a full um, text so you can see all the self text obviously there's a few bugs in here um, I also, in 2.1, improved the parser that deals with this text and um, the comments, uh, so it works better with links, um, links to the Zoom marketplace and such. Uh, another thing that was added in 2.1 was the ability to see upvotes and downvotes on comments. You see the little arrow there. It's showing that I've upvoted or downvoted a comment. Um, another feature I added, uh, which was heavily requested, and I was kind of against it, but I gave in, was uh, swipe to collapse comments. So if I swipe across this guy, it collapses. If I swipe across it again, it's going to re-expand. Um, that works for all the comments. Um, a few more optimizations were made. Uh, lots of stuff in the back end. Um, I added an analytics engine to the back of it so we can get some better um, information about what people do on Bacon It so I can improve some features better. And that's, uh, that's opt-out. There's a new option in the settings to uh, stop doing that. But it only sends anonymous data. Um, nothing identifiable whatsoever. And uh, I'm trying to look at the list here. I'll link to the uh, change list. But oh, I also probably fixed the black bug screen, or black screen bug, where once you zoomed into Reddit from coming to a link or baking it, uh, the screen would be black except you get the at bar. Um, so that was a transition, a well, problem with the transition library. Um, it's a bug that's actually filed, and one of our users in the subreddit suggested a workaround, and I uh, implemented that. And it seems to be working pretty well so far. So. Um, there's a few more features. You guys can open up the change log. I'll link to it after this and um, check them out yourself. Uh, but um, 2.1 should be out to my beta testers in a, not too long, and then it should be public uh, shortly after that. So thank you for watching, and look forward to that.